you know, you got the shirt on right now. It says expeditiously. Oh yeah. And the first thing I thought was Ti, you know, the whole Kodak Black situation. But right. this actually came before that. And then this is this that. is your podcast, yeah. expeditiously. And like you said earlier in the interview, this is a line from Lean on Me. Right. It was one Mor- of my Morgan Freeman. Right. It was one of my most memorable moments that everybody that's seen the movie and know Jermaine Hopkins' work mm-hmm. knows that scene on top of the roof on Lean On Me when he was asking me, don't you smoke crack? If you're gonna kill yourself, don't fuck around with it. Go ahead and do it expeditiously. Go ahead and jump. So in other words, don't kill yourself slow smoking this crack because that's what you're doing. You wanna kill yourself? Jump off this fucking roof and do it expeditiously. Yeah. So that's where that, that, that really came from and I had you know, had already been, you know, uh, me and my uh, co-star Rage has already been working on, you know, uh, expeditiously uh, podcast with Jermaine Hopkins and Rage. And then T.I. comes out and says, you know, uh, <laughs> you need to fix that expeditiously. So, you know, I'm like, oh, shit, he done seen the podcast. He know what they, oh, that's what's up. They get it. They get it. You know, and... Uh, then I start getting, you know, the same yeah. thing. Like, oh yeah, you know, because that's what yeah, yeah. We'll see if you do your history. You see, that shit originated with me. Right. And Kodak Black made a song called "Expeditious," right. like, where he disses Ti. Right. So it all kind of, all kind of ties good. in together. Yeah. But man. check out the podcast. Yep. Check you out the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Expeditiously with your boy Jermaine Hopkins and Rage. That's where I'm at with it now. I had, I was in the dark ages, man. You know, I was still knocking on doors. Uh, 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 trying to make friends with invisible gatekeepers, yeah. you know, all, all of this stuff and realize that it's now 2019. Oh, Nobody's yeah. waiting for nobody to get put out. Look at you, Vlad. Vlad TV. Right. I, like, I, I did a film project before Vlad TV launched, which I've never seen a royalty check on to this day. It was, it was my first documentary, Ghost Ride the Whip. Got a few dollars up front and never saw anything. That's why I said, yeah, I got to own my own shit. I'm not going right. to wait on anybody. Right. I'm, I'm going to create my own content. I'm going to own my own content. Right. And right. 11 years later, it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life, business-wise. Right. And I'm, I'm on that same page, and I, I feel like the same way. And any guidance that you could share, you know, uh, definitely course. be appreciated. And one thing me and Rage had mentioned when we walked in, uh, to be, to come into an office that's, tied to a production of this magnitude, I'm so used to seeing so many people moving around, so many people working. And when I came in, I said, you know what? This is a perfect example of modern technology. Because it's it's all that's not needed anymore. One cameraman? Right. Who's working two cameras in the sound by himself? Right, right. Small group of video editors? So I'm still, I was still in a Panavision frame of mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? I need $10 million to get this film done in order to do it right. And and, and the whole time I had, had shit right there, man. So, you know, yeah. shout out to my boy Rage, man, for really coming on board and really, you know what I mean, bringing me up to speed, man. And, uh, you know, even, even making me aware of platforms like yours. Yeah, man. Well, listen, man, appreciate you coming in. Long time fan of your work, uh, you know, Juice will always go down as a as a timeless classic. People watch it long after you and I are both gone. Right. And uh, you know, you got a chance to work with Tupac on multiple film projects, who who has gone down as one of the greatest ever. Yes. And also just your work with with just cinema greats, period, from the, the Morgan Freemans of the world to the Forrest Whitakers and so forth, man. Um you know, just congratulations, really saying, too, congratulations man. on everything you've done. And it sounds like you're still grinding and hustling, man. So still at it. You know, can't wait to see what else you got coming up in the future. I'm going to keep you posted, Vlad, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we're going we gonna to have our little smoke sessions and we're going to stay in touch, man. I like you, man. You're my kind of dude, man. You That's know? what it is. Yeah, I always got along with DJ. DJ Vlad in the building! That's right. <laughs> Till next time. Peace. Peace.